It's your boy Sam here, and today I am doing a review. Yay! Yeah, yeah. My first review. Obviously, I'm doing it on Sonic Colors Ultimate. I don't know why I looked there. I was gonna go grab the game, but I'm like, nah. But um, yeah, I'm doing my review on Sonic Colors Ultimate. Obviously, it's a remastered version of Sonic Colors, which came out in 2010. Just waiting for that Sonic Unleashed remake. But the amount of problems that I faced in Sonic Colors Ultimate was crazy. Where do I even start? The music is, uh, there were some pretty fire tracks, you know. Like, uh, mostly in Astro Toasted. Starlight Carnival or kind of West. I wasn't really like too hype on them. I wasn't always playing them constantly. But Aquarium Park and um, Astro Coaster smashed it out of the park. The, the, I think the original tracks sound better than the originals. And uh, I'm sure if you've seen other reviews on this game, uh, that other YouTubers have said that as well. So on next Starlight Carnival, uh, when you're going through uh, the after you've smashed out those motorbugs, he glitches to the side, which I don't Blight Squirrel Games have patched out or, or whatever, or, or will patch that. Probably not. Uh, most patches they've done is of the Nintendo Switch version, which is flipping hell. Probably the worst uh, platform you can play Sonic Colors Ultimate on. It runs at 30 frames while. You know, PS4, I think it's on PS5 as well, um, and Xbox One, Xbox Series S and X. They run at 60. The Nintendo Switch has like this glitchy, just light effect, I don't even know, but it's bad. I'll probably throw up some footage on the screen right now, but it, it's terrible. And sorry for those who look epilepsy, I should say that as well. Oh my god, I didn't know this because of Chow Mix. The bosses, yeah, basically just fighting Eggman's robots. I'm, I'm really, I don't even know much at the, about the bosses. The boss from, um, what was it, Starlight Carnival, where you're running in that, on that road in space, that happens twice. So there, um, so I don't know why. Why did, the, the, this is something about uh, Sonic Colors, the original. Why did they do that? What? Anyways, we're talking about Ultimate, we're not talking about the original here. I have lag on, on parts that, you know, I do so well, and then towards the end, it just lags. Like, the game just doesn't uh, register my inputs. Like, uh, so I get lags, lag spikes from time to time. It's not like constant, but uh, it, it usually happens uh, like, at the most random moment. They, they, they added an uh, extra content. Oh my gosh, don't even get me started on extra content. Game mode was sick though. That was sick. That like uh, co-op, so you can play locally with your friend, like a Sonic simulator type uh, mode, which is cool. Getting the Chaos Emeralds was cool, but you get that by com by collecting every single Red Star Ring, which there are 180 of them, and there are five across each level except for Terminal Velocity. You get something after collecting that. You know, you are able to collect all seven Chaos Emeralds in the game land a mode and unlock supersonic is what you'd expect for him to be like obviously i made a review uh i made a, a showcase of them so if you guys want to check that out the channel <laughs> yeah at least it's not like sonic forces which you don't get anything like when was the last time you collected all red star rings you got a cool reward for it sonic colors they were supposed to be supersonic but it got can't let's get something so I I'll, I'll give them props for that let's talk about this next extra content then the egg shuttle what was the point of adding the egg shuttle like seriously what 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 were they thinking? To just replay level? You have that in the world map. I thought in the egg shuttle, they're like, oh, cool, some extra levels. Let me just finish everything up, wrap up all the main story stuff, collect all the chaos emeralds, do all six rival rushes, which were gave me a pretty good challenge, to be honest. I, I quite enjoyed them. I just don't understand the reasoning of facing Metal Sonic. He didn't even appear in the story once. Although he was in Rise of the Wisp. It's like an animated cartoon about Sonic colors and... For some reason, Metal Sonic is in it. You do get rewards, uh, like uh, the Dark Aura and the Dark Boost, which looks sick. Uh, speaking of looking sick, customization. I mean, it's not on the level of forces. So don't get me wrong. Where you can like literally put on anything. Uh, you can get so many cool uh, costumes and clothes to put on your avatar. But I, I must say, they they did try. You know, I mean, although it's just 
you're just recoloring Sonic at this point. Um, you know, giving him an aura, giving him a new uh, colored boost. They're, like, they're trying some, but I hope. And I'm, I'm agreeing with all the YouTubers that have, the Sonic YouTubers that have said this, that we should be able to put uh, some stuff on uh, Sonic from like previous games, like the Soap Shooters from Adventure 2. I know it's gonna be really weird, but the warehouse cleats still look pretty sick. I don't think Sonic would wear them. You know, that, that what she was wearing in Adventure 2, I'm, I'm not too sure what it was, but um, that was really sick. And um, I hope we get that, in, like, you know, maybe Sonic Frontiers or something. Get him to wear the, the, the shoes that Sonic wore in the first, you know, the new shoes he got. Those Pumas pretty tight back to the egg shuttle and when this when sonic unleashed uh the hg version released their dlc they were just renditions of the old you know rooftop run night act they were completely different and they were much more difficult sonic frontiers can you know bring back the the the, the challenge you challenge we got to face you know in sonic unleashed i still haven't finished sonic unleashed <laughs> Hopefully I can finish it soon. Bring that challenge back. Cause there was nothing different about this level. I didn't see any difference. I was literally playing the same level. And I've been boosted throughout the entire level. Cause I had memorized it so well. The amount of tail saves you get. The tail saves not been added. Just do what Crash Bandicoot 4 did. You know, you got to pick between um, a sick, whether a lie. You only have a limited amount of lie. If you die, you start from the beginning. That's gonna be more centered towards the hardcore fans. Obviously, uh, the modern would be, you know, you have no lives. You could just keep going, keep rolling through. You get checkpoints along the way. And I'll be like, uh, making an uh, impact on a uh, new Sonic. Ooh, you're taking inspiration from that? But you're not like completely copying Crash Bandicoot. The amount of park tokens I have. I already have 600 because you can just keep replaying the level. The park tokens will be in the same spot. Keep farming it. And you can literally buy every single customization color for Sonic. Gloves, shoes, you can buy all the auras, all the boosts, all the avatars. It is so easy to get those those uh, park tokens. But again, this, this, this is the game where it was more centered around for kids. What was already some really cool characters and Unleash, we uh, get a bit of a darker story and uh, but from the announcement trailer it looks like it's gonna be a pretty dark story that's my review done hope you guys enjoyed if you did smash that like button let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of Sonic Colors Ultimate if I miss anything out I don't think I, no, I probably did uh, but um yeah just let me know and I'll see you guys in a bit take care and peace <laughs>